Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be painting a household knight from the game Conquest, Last Argument of Kings. So you'll see there I had shining silver to start, but at first I primed this model black on the undercoat and then I did a Zenithal prime with Vallejo blue on top. And then I went in and did a dry brush with shining silver, very light, just because I wanted to hit those metal parts. From there I used a little bit of, uh, I think it's Grave Lord Gray, the speed painter paint, to kind of do the base coat of the, the actual horse. And then next I went in with some uniform gray and I did, a, a, again, another, another dry brush over top of all of the cloth bits. Uh, then I went in with uniform gray and matte white and I started to slowly build those up over time. So over the course of this entire project, I spent the most amount of time really on the fabric, the back cloak and the fabric draping down from the horse. The the rest of the the paint scheme was really very simple and I didn't really want to overwork the horse too much, so it's probably the simplest in terms of paint jobs, but I did spend a lot of time on this white these white robes. Uh, I've never been very good at painting white, so this was very much a test for myself and You'll see at the end I added in some mud and some grit, and I was pretty reluctant to do that at first. I was actually reluctant to start this process at all because I didn't know what the paint schemes could be. But I did decide to challenge myself and uh, you know, go for a really bright white with these robes. So it was a, it was a challenge for sure. I started off gray. I kept going back and forth. Uh, here you can see me actually abandon the army painter white the matte white and I go with Vallejo's cold white and what this did was it really just let me set the whites apart from each other after it had been sitting and drying so I could really see the difference the cold white is much thicker in pigment density so I was able to really build up layers from the gray so here you can kind of see my out for out of focus dark blue gray uh, and this is what I'm going to use to to go around and hit the details that I might have hit with the brush, the dry brushing. This is like so the little triangular flags that hang from the the reins. Uh, I redo the the feet a little bit. I go in basically just anything that isn't supposed to be silver or white um, and, and black it out, dark gray it out. And I didn't want to go full black because it's already got so much prime on it. The black is pretty dense. I just went with something uh, in the middle, so like a dark gray, the dark blue gray as it's written. Uh, you see the lighting change here a little bit. Depends on when I got to this project. I was in and out of it uh, over the course of several days. And I'm actually pretty impressed that I was able to boil this down to a, a video that is under seven minutes long because it was hours in length just from lots of different things that I had to get rid of. Um, a lot of downtime in my painting. My computer is actually right next to me where I do all the editing. So here you see uh, I jump in and I, I add some weapon bronze to to the, the armor and I do that to like the, the crown and the, the, the face plate of the horse, the head plate where it has some like gold leaves. Uh, and then I did all of the like the tablets, the, the little brass tablet. I, I don't know what they are. The little decorations that hang from the rear, the rear of the horse's armor. And what this did was it broke up the color scheme a lot from being just white and silver with blue. And then I, uh, I went in with some matte black and did the base because I couldn't stand looking at the blue base anymore. I really wanted to get in and start seeing what this would look like with the grass applied to it. So you'll see here in a second I'm going to glue the grass down. I'm just using... Uh, Gorilla Glue because it's super sticky and dries harder and faster <laughs> than PVA glue. I just didn't feel like really sitting there waiting for it. But I did actually go in and add droplets of PVA glue to it and uh, add more grass on top. So I fixed a couple of the pieces that were a little janky. It's still not perfect even as I look at it on my desk right now. But here I am going in to all the detail bits and adding in shining silver across all the armor. Um, Again, I focused a lot of my time on the robes here. It's just building up from gray to white, that blue to gray to white, and then just going back in and looking where it, it felt like it 
was a painting texture, like the paint, the texture of the paintbrush, and tried to smooth those out over many repetitions. So if I was going to go back in and do this model and try to level up the rest of it, I would focus on the tail, and the body of the horse. So here I'm actually going to start applying some of this uh, Mornfang brown to the base of the, the robes. I was a little reluctant to do this, so you can see me being very gingerly about it. Uh, I wanted to make sure it was really dry and gave the appearance of caked on mud and didn't just like smear on as paint. So uh, I was extra careful to get my brush nice and dry. And then after I got a little comfortable with how much was actually on the, like being applied, then I, I got a little bit more confident and started building it up. This was an interesting experience. I wanted it to be quicker than it was, which is why I did the two-tone prime in the beginning. Um, but I ended up spending a lot of time on these white robes. I really decided to, to push myself with the application of the white because it's something that I have struggled with a lot. And it's true about what they say, is you need a lot of thin coats and you need to build them up and it takes forever. The other option would have been to done a white primer or a white airbrush right out of the, the bottle. Um, Airbrush always works great. It applies very smoothly, but I wanted to try painting and I wanted to try and build up some texture, especially in that cape like you see. So it feels like it's got real fibers in it. So this was all a great learning experience and a lot of fun and uh, you know, really happy with how it turned out. So thank you for watching and uh, please stick around for the next one.